ایش هستم خوش اومدی به ویدیو جدید از کانال ایش باباز خب بچه ها ویدیو امروز یکم متفاوته به نسبت ویدیوهایی که همیشه درست میکنیم توی این مدت یعنی معمولا مثلا ویدیو من دیدین که حالا متوای جنسی حالا سکسی یا انترسیمنت داره یا کمی فانه ولی خب امروز دیگه ویدیو رو ساختم که من در واقع این ویدیو رو به شما بده کار بودم اه... خیلی دوست داشتم این ویدیو رو زودتر بسازم ولی خب با تجربه شرایطی که توش بودم به صورت کلی نه امکانش نداشتم این ویدیو رو زودتر بسازم این ویدیو راجع به ایران خودمونه رفتم توی شهر با مردم صحبت کردم میخواستم ببینم که آیا اعتراضای اخیر که توی ایران شکل گرفت به گوش مردم جهان رسید یا نه میخواستم ببینم که فضای مجازی توییتر تیک تاک مدیا هر جا اینستاگرام هر جا آیا تونست این صدای مردم ایران رو بلاخره به گوش مردم جهان به گوش مردم عادی توی دنیا نه سیاست مدار ها سیاست مدار ها که اخبار رو دنبال میکنن و متوجه میشن برا من رفتم اینه به گوش مردم عادی رسیدی یا نه ویدیو رو ببینیم با هم بعدش با هم صحبت میکنیم راجع به یه سری نقطه نظرهایی که من هم توی این ویدیو دارم امیدوارم از ویدیو لذت ببرید لایک و سابسکرایب فراموش نشه نظراتون رو حتما واسه من بنویسید مخصوصا واسه این ویدیو چون واسه این ویدیو حتما به نظر شما احتیاج دارم خب بچه‌ها قبل از اینکه ویدیو رو شروع کنم لازم بهتون بگم که من چهار تا عکس انتخاب کردم از چهار تا شهر مختلف ایران اولی تهران دوم تبریز شیراز و اصفهان در فکرم این بود که این چهار تا عکس رو نشون خارجی ها بدم ازشون بخوام که حدس بزنن که این کدام کشور میتونه باشه یا حتی کدام قاره میتونه باشه مطمئن بودم که نمیتونن حدس بزنن ایرانه به خاطر اینکه تصویری که مدیا و رسانه های قرب از ایران توی ذهن اینا ساختن یه چیز داغون ویرونه هست واسه همین تصمیم گرفتم این اکثار اول نشونشون بدم وقتی که اون تصویر سازی راجع اون کشوری که فکر میکنن کردن بعد بهشون بگم که این ایرانه و بعد راجع به مسائلی که گفتم با هم باشون صحبت کنم امیدوارم از ویدیو لذت ببرین بریم واسه ویدیو اوکی هیر وی ار وید جید جید ور فرام جید ام فرام لندن لندن یو استادی هیر یا آی جست گریت کن اس هاو اول ار یو 22 اوکی آی ور شو یو فور دیفرنت پیکچرز اف ا ایریا اوکی اند فور لیتس استارت وید دات جست کن یو گیس دی کانتیننت فرست دن وی گو فور کانتری دات اف یو کان گیس ور از دی کانتری از اول رایت ویچ اوکی آی ور شو یو دی پیکچر نمبر 1 هیر یا دی سیکند ون Is it all one country? One country. Um, Jordan? Jordan? No. No. I'm gonna give you a Somewhere tip. Somewhere in the Middle East? In the Middle East. Dubai? Not really. Is it Iran? Oh. Yes. Okay. I'm actually from Iran. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna ask you like two questions about it. I don't know. Have you heard the name of Iran, of course? Yeah. 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 Like, can I ask you what was the last time you heard the, the name of Iran? What was the subject? What was it? Um, maybe like not the best things. Yeah, just let me know. Like political, like unrest, like things like that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that. Yeah, yeah, just th that's that's the reason I actually yeah. came for because. If there is a political or a like system of government, we are not that. We are peoples, yeah. and the system of government are like different than us. Mm. Yeah, that's why I came. Like, was it like you say, the political, political? Um, yeah, I think I heard some. There's like protests or something going on yeah. there. There was like a group here yeah. protesting outside the um, like the Muslim yeah. center or something because they're like sending money yeah. to the regime. That's like yeah, exactly. Yeah. to do with. Yeah. Or something. Asylum security. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard anything about like the couple of months ago that it was like kind of like revolutions and protests in Iran? Yeah, I think so. Yes, I do remember that. Do you remember what was the reason? Like I don't know. I'm guessing yeah. something to do with the government, yeah. but I don't know. I I don't know specifically. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I've really heard anything about Iran mm. recently. Yeah. Uh. But have you heard the recent, like a couple of months ago, about the like the protests and uh, the stuff in Iran happens? Oh yeah, was that about the the hijabs? 
exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, can I ask you like, what do you know about it? Like, well, how can you remember anything, anything about it? Uh, I know a lot of like women were protesting wearing it and going about um, kind of without their hijabs, and a lot of people were getting arrested. Yeah. And like the what's it? The kind of is it the military or like the a police division that's quite like brutal was. something in the news maybe I heard about around. Do you remember like why? I don't remember why but I feel like when stuff's in the news it's never good really is it? So I get, yeah I think it was probably in the news. Uh, like political like protests and stuff yeah. like that. It was like a couple of months ago is that right? Yeah. Okay, okay I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna give you a scenario. Yeah. Imagine yourself in this scenario and just let me know what's your reaction to this like case scenario all right? Mm. Just imagine you live in England, and the England's government has created a new morality police, yeah. which is going around the country or cities, check the girls or guys or whatever who hasn't weared up nice or like an a, an a morality not nice, like naked or like somehow. So they catch them, they maybe like detain them or arrest them or somewhere. And in the meanwhile, a girl who's not wearing a like appropriate like there is as as the system want yeah like this no i mean like even much much more <laughs> like yeah positive i mean like higher like hit by hijab yeah. listen the morality police catch her and hit her and she get die yeah so what would be your reaction would you protest or stay in silence um i probably protest yeah especially if it was like people i knew or like Yeah, I definitely protest actually. Yeah. Like especially with like women because then I'm like yeah. for solidarity like. And you know the the protest that you talked about before yeah. it was because of the same reason because of the girl who got who caught up by the morality police of Iran and she got murdered by one of the like the police yeah. and then the people came out after her and like hundreds of people got died at the streets and like like thousands got arrested after that and torture and everything. Yeah. So, like at the on the end I got to ask you a questions. Like As a sight of a girl who's living in a democracy and freedom country, what would be your like comment or what would be your word to the girl or like the young generation of Iran who is today fighting for their freedoms? What would you tell them? Like if you could give them a something? Uh, that's a big question. <laughs> um, oh my God, I don't know. That's <laughs> okay. Let's say, does freedom worth it? Is it worth it? Yes, like absolutely. I mean, obviously, I've grown up in a country. We're very lucky to like have like freedom as women, like pretty much. Um, but yeah, I just say that that's like their their inherent like right to have that, and that they shouldn't let anyone or men or like these like oppressive regimes tell them that they shouldn't have it just because they're women that they need to act a certain way. I'm gonna show you four different pictures of a, like a, four places, and I want you to guess that where is this country? Okay. Oh, At least, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, like it might be hard. Like it's just, I, I mean, like I want you to guess it. Like if, uh, let's start with the continent. Oh, okay. Okay, let's start with, with continent. It's just the uh, places. Asia. Asia. Europe. Europe again, I think. Europe. Maybe, yeah. America? America. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so you guess the first one, Asia. Yeah. Yeah. And second and third, you say Europe. Yeah. And the fourth one, you say America. Yeah. And can you guess the country? I actually got to tell you something. It's all for one country. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And it's in Asia. Oh, right. Yeah. All country in Asia. Indonesia. Did you say that? Huh? Did you, what did you say? I just no, repeated you. Uh, uh, that yeah, it was all the country in Asia. I'm thinking... Can I see the other ones again? Yes, one. This one. This one. Guess a name. Guess a country. Singapore? Like Singapore. China. China. Okay. <laughs> I've got to tell you that. Like, it's not... No, it's Iran. Oh. 
Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually from Iran. Ah. Yeah, and I want to ask you something. Um, the reason I got to tell you, uh, let me let me like give you an example. I will give you uh, like imaginations. And you tell me what's your reaction in this situation, all right? Imagine you live in England, all right? And government in a system or government in England has created a new uh, like police, which is called morality police. What's the, what's the purpose of this police? It's going around the uh, cities and like the areas and check who hasn't wearing a nice like dresses or like the what's, you know, is what not good for the environment okay let's say that it's like sexual or like that oh, right, okay. so this morality police has like purpose to stop them or like catch them or stop i've heard about this yeah and the thing is happened like if a girl from your city has not a nice dress or like naked dress and the morality police catch her and by get they start fighting and then she she get died to get murdered by the morality police. What would what would be your reaction? Would you protest or would you just stay in silence? Um, I think ideally I'd protest, but I think if it was dangerous to protest, I'd be a bit scared too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I I would like to say that I would definitely protest, and I would think I would try to, but I also would be aware that it's it's very dangerous to, yeah, there's to speak of course, out. There's of course consequences for this like act. But I mean, the thing is that what happened, as you say, you heard that. That I'm sure you heard about it as well. As it was the same like reason that the Iranians started the revelations, because of the girl who died in a street to murder by the morality police, of course, when they caught her and she just de- started defending herself and they just hit her head up and she died. And after that, like hundreds of people died at the street because of that girl, because they all came out and they started shouting and tied their hands and stuff. Uh, can I ask you, like, for the last question? Would you? Is there anything you can tell to Iranian people who just right now they are in a silence? Because, as you said, they got forced to be in a silence right now because they got killed and they got arrested and they got like torture and everything. Is there anything that w- you would like to tell them, especially to the young generation? Uh, I don't know. Like anything that you f- you feel the, you feel the freedom and democracy. You, yes. you experienced that. Yes. What would you tell them from this side of you, like? the girls who's just experienced the democracy and the freedom and everything what would you tell them to the guys with a young generation who never even experienced that I, uh, yeah, you can think about it let me ask her yeah. She yeah I think I would probably mainly say like if you do feel like speaking up about it it's worth like experiencing freedom is worth speaking up about if you can don't feel forced to but Mm. if you feel like you want to speak out about it I think that you should yeah Yeah. I think that that it's so like it's worth it's a cause that's worth speaking for but I know that it's hard and like you it's like tough to say oh yeah risk your life for other people and I know that's a hard thing to say but I think like even like in our country like people have risked their lives for our freedom and i always appreciate it and so i think it's important to do as well i'm gonna show you four different pictures and i gotta gotta ask you the place that if you can guess the place where it is let's start with the continent at least no you can't just come with the continent (laughs) guess what continent do you think it is Uh, the first one second one the third one it's one country Switzerland? Switzerland. <laughs> so I would say Europe and Switzerland. Oh. I gotta give you a tip. It's not so it's uh, it's in the Middle East. Okay. Yeah. Um Oh god. I've no clue. <laughs> Name a country in the Middle East. Um It's, it's a country named Iran. Okay. I gotta, I gotta make you a, like imaginations. Uh-huh. I gotta set you in these situations and then ask your reaction. Okay. Imagine you're living in a country, England. All right. 
and then the government making a new police which is called morality police which is like purpose is just going around the cities and check who's not wearing the nice i mean like dresses as a government wanted you know something nice for them so they catch they catch the people they like maybe arrest them detain them or like whatever and meanwhile a girl start defending herself against this uh, like the arresting and she get murdered by a police what would be your reaction as a citizen of this country would you protest or would you just stay in a silence yeah i think it's horrific like i think the way that things get changed in cities and in countries is to protest yeah. like protesting is like throughout history been a fundamental right of citizens and it, I do think that in history of like female rights and feminism it is the main way that's kind of brought about change um, but obviously it must be really scary for the women there to be protesting they're putting a lot at risk um, but yeah I think it is it's very brave of them and um, it is heartbreaking that there's still women in the world that don't receive the luxuries that I don't know Scotland kind of take for granted I guess because yeah. Um, yeah coming from Scotland everything's yeah. very free and easy so yeah it's quite heartbreaking yeah. as you heard like the people of Iran did the same they protest they got murdered in the streets they got arrested and then in the torture and everything Today, as a girl living in a freedom country, democracy country, you experience something that they never had it. Mm. What would be your tips about this freedom to them? Um, Let's ask like that. Does freedom make it worse? I, I'm not particularly sure as someone that's lived my entire life in freedom, if it's kind of my place to comment on what it's like to not have that because I have no experience of that um, but I think there's a lot that you can do from this side of the world that can help and maybe my advice would be more to people here in the UK to kind of get more actively involved there's a lot of petitions that you can sign up to and a lot of places that you can donate um, and a lot of things that you can do to support the women and let them know that they're not alone in yeah. fighting for you know what should just be like a basic human right okay. yeah, that's it, that's it. and in the end is there anything you can just tell to the young generations of Iran who would you like to tell them that they are protesting already in the, like what would you tell them like in a short distance like, you just tell them something just that I'm really sorry that you have to go through that and uh, not to give up hope because different women from different countries have continuously had to fight for certain rights and in the end um, I feel like in a lot of circumstances you know they have won um, but I understand that the cost of winning can be quite high especially when women are dying Yeah. راستی یه چیزی که یادم رفتون بگم من توی این ویدیو مردم و زنده شدم شما هیچ کدوم از ویدیوهای من نمیبینید که اینقدر توش توپق بزنم یا اینقدر توش آچمز بشم بگوی وقتی که راجبه این موضوع ایران و تظاهرات و بچه که کشته شدن و دستگیر شدن میخواستم صحبت کنم اصلا ذهنم ناخداگاه هنگ میکرد بخش های زیادی از ویدیو رو میتونی ببینید که تقریبا از من آچمز می شدم یعنی رشته کلام از اصلا در می رفت چون همش می رفتم توی فکر چون همش زبونم بعد به تته می افتاد تته پته می افتادم واقعا خیلی از تته پته ها کات کردم توی ویدیو ولی دیگه نمی شد چون این ویدیو با اختلاف سخت ترین ویدیویی بود که من ساختم به خاطر همین بود که تعداد مصاحبه هم کوتاه چون دیگه نمی تونستم واقعا داشتم یعنی داشتم هلاک می شدم دیگه تا آخرش بازم از ارات می خوام ازتون واسه یه توپاقایی که زدم Where's Charlotte? Charlotte, where are you from Charlotte? Um, I'm from Manchester Manchester, great uh, I'm asking like different social media and like entertainment questions for my channel Today's subject is a bit different I'm going to show you four different pictures of area Let's start with the continent If you can guess like, what continent is it then we can just go for a country Is that okay with you? Oh, I'll try yeah. my best uh, No problem <laughs> Okay, the first picture is this one um, So what continent? Yeah, just show you for this, it's just say like what continent do you guess? Um, 
Asia. Asia. I think. What kind of gives the country name? Singapore. I don't know. The first one looks very Singapore. It's, it's all one country. It's all in the one country. Um, I'm so bad at geography. It's in the Middle East. <laughs> oh, the Middle East. Um, I have no idea. No problem. I'm so bad. It's a, no problem. It's a country named Iran. Okay, yes. yes. The, the ones you heard in the news, it was because of the revolution, people came out and because of the protests and stuff. And I gotta ask you a question, I gotta make you imaginations in this, like a situation that you set yourself in this situation and then tell me what's your reaction. Imagine you live in a country, England, right? And the government making a new morality police, which is purposes like to just walking around the city and who's not wearing a nice dress at the like, government's opinions or like against morality, they catch them or like the girls themselves and then they arrest them or like whatever. And meanwhile, a girl getting caught or catched by a police who start defending herself and she get murdered by a police. What would be your reaction as a citizen of this country? Well, obviously that's really wrong. And if, if, if that ever happened in England, obviously there'd be like riots. It'd be like massive, wouldn't it? So yeah, it wouldn't be a riot. I'd probably protest against it. Like, would you protest? I think so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. And like, uh, as you heard, like Iranian people protest for this girl who yes, got yes, died. Who got? Bad. Yeah, she died in a street she murdered. And then the hundreds of people got got like killed by the police like, after the protest, and the thousands got arrested now. If, as a girl who's living in a like a democracy on a freedom country like you, is there any tip that you can give them to the young generation of people in Iran? If you give them a tip by your side, yeah, it's so hard because I know they're in such a different situation to me, and I think it'd be really hard for me to give them tips, and I'm so privileged compared to the situation that they're in. So it'd be so difficult, but. And as well, I would say, you know, keep protesting, but I don't want people to die. And I think it's for us in countries that are privileged to help out countries that aren't as privileged, where things like that are happening. So I think the tip would be more for us in England to do more than for them, because I know it's so hard and the situation they're in is really difficult. Okay, so the last question. Does freedom worth it to protest? What was that? Sorry? Does freedom worth? Does freedom work? Yeah, worse. Does freedom make it worse? Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't think freedom would make it worse. I'm Katie. Hey, where are you from, Katie? I'm from Portsmouth. Well, so you study here? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, I'm asking like social media questions every day, and today's subjects. So I'm gonna show you four different pictures of an area or places that we gotta ask you to guess where it is. Let's start with the continent, right? Like, yeah, okay. okay. Then we well, go so for. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a country. Yeah. Let's start with the continent, like this mm -hmm. first. Second one. Like what continent do you guess it is? Again? Europe. Europe. Yeah. Can you guess the country? Um, Let me give you a tip. It's not Europe. It's Middle East. Okay. Yeah. Qatar. Qatar. Yeah. Well, actually, it's, it's a country named I Iran. Iran. Okay. Have you heard the name of Iran? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. My today's question is exactly the same subject. Uh, what was what, what have you heard about that protest or like? Uh, it's it's to do with a technocratic government mm -hmm. who are kind of taking the rights away from the people. Yeah, um, yeah and it, particularly women as well. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, let me just give you an imaginations, and I gotta give you a minute. You just set yourself in this like situation and let me know what's your reaction to this, right? Okay, imagine in England, uh, the government making a new police, like which is called morality police, which is walking around the cities and just catch the girls or guys who wasn't wearing the nice dresses or the stuffs. And the, like a government view, they say it's not nice, it's naked or stuffs. And meanwhile, a girl get catch by the police, or this, she start defending herself and she get murdered by the police. Yeah. What would be your reaction as a citizen of this country? Well, I'd be relying on myself, but also the people around me to stand up and protest against the, that institution um, and yeah because you want you'd want to object of course but you'd have to rely on like 
pe- a group, a massive group of people as a whole to um, stand up against it. Yeah. And like as you heard that the pe- the people of Iran did the same. Yeah. At least millions of them just start protesting, and then hundreds got died, and like thousands got arrested, and now they are in silence. Yeah. As a girl who born and grew up in a like a democracy country, what is a, if I ask you to give them a tips? like that you experienced it that they never did it is there anything you can tell them what like about does democracy make it worse um well of course well i think democracy is a good thing of course and i think the more the more places in the world that have a democracy and a a, a free democracy um the better really because because it's about the people and it's the laws affect the people and the people should have the right to vote and choose and what ha- affects them directly yeah. yeah okay so is there anything that at the end you won't tell them that they're fighting protesting anything you would like to tell them um Who's yeah watching I, this video yeah uh, keep standing up for what you believe in and partake in the protests because the more people that join in the harder it is to over overcome Sure. Okay, I'll show you the bridge on one here. Um, yep. Okay. Um, oh, can you get like what continent? Asia? Asia? Like Southeast Asia, probably. I can you get the name of country? Um, I'd say that was maybe Malaysia. Malaysia. Um. One more guess. It's, it's, it's one country. North India? O- o- it's all uh, okay, one okay. country. India? India, okay. Now it's like it, the country Iran in the Middle East. Iran, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm from Iran actually. I'm, uh, I came here to ask you like uh, two questions about it, Iran. How, what was the last time you heard the name of country Iran? Like what was the subject? Um, in the news when they were forcing women to wear uh, um, headscarves. Yes, yeah. the revolution. Like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the question is exactly about that. Like, I would ask you to imagine, like, let's, like, imaginations. You live in a country in England, freedom, of course, democracy country. Yeah. Imagine if England created the same system as Iran, as a morality police, walking around the cities and yeah. catch the girls who wasn't wearing a hijab or, like, n- I mean, like, nice dress as a government's opinion, all right? And at the end, the girl gets catched by the police or get hit and then while she's defending she gets murdered by the police mm-hmm. what would be your reaction as a citizen of this country would you protest or would you stay in a silence i guess it would depend if i felt it was safe to protest and if it was safe for my family if i did so it would depend on the situation yeah okay so so you say like you gotta take it like if I mean, like, if there is risky, so you might not even protest. Yeah. All right. And, you know, like, after the Iranian protest, so that there's hundreds got died on the streets, or, like, thousands got arrested, as you say, there were not safe protests. There's still people, like, came out for the girl. And today there's still, like, thousands of young generations, or millions of young generations, they are still in a, stay in the silence, as you said, because it's risky, because it's cost their lives. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. چیزی که خیلی واسم جالب بود تو این ویدیو این بود که تقریبا همه تقریبا همه راجبی اعتراضا به انقلابی که شک گرفت تو ایران شنیدن. پس الان تمام دنیا میدونن که مردم ایران تو چه شرایطی هن و اون شرایط رو نمیخوان. ببین شما مثلا تو پارسال یا مثلا دو سال پیش وقتی که می اومدی تو جامعه قرب و ده سال پیش در تقریبا مثلا ده دوازده سال پیش که ما آمادیم اینجا وقتی به اروپایی ها میگفتیم ایران همه فکر میکرد همه اولین چیزی که توی ذهنشون میمد کلمه تروریست بود خواهر میانه جنگ خونریزی تروریست وحشی مسلمون مردم بعد اینا کلمه هایی که ب... ب... یعنی چی میاد توی ذهنشون تا حالا بعد وقتی که باید معاشرت میکردن وقتی که بیشتر میشناختند میفهمیدن که اوکی این واجه ها به تو نمیچسبه و تو یا ایرانی هستی و ایرانی ها شخصیتشون اینه ولی خب الان تقریبا همه دیگه میدونن و این خیلی خوبه این قدرت فضای مجازی رو میرسونه قدرت رسانه رو میرسونه رسانه آزاد و همون حالا به قولی که ما میگیم دهکده جهانی اینترنت رو میرسونه مدیا 
اخبارهای شبکه های مدیا مثل بی بی سی مثل ایران اینترنشنال مثل شبکه های داخلی ایران حالا همون بیست و سی یا چیزای آشغال مزخرفی که هست اینا همیشه هدف من عمل میکنن تو همه جای دنیا مثل فاکس نیوز همه هدف من در با توجه به سیاست های اون کشوری که توش قرار گرفتن مثلا بی بی سی یه دروغوی خیلی بزرگی یا بیست و سی توی ایران یه دروغوی خیلی بزرگی هست به خاطر همین شما هیچ وقت نمیتونید به اونا اعتماد کنید ولی خب مثلا اشخاص مستقل ببین مثلا من امروز رفتم یه گزارش خیلی کوتاه واسهتون جمع کردم از کف شهر در حد مثلا شاید 10 دقیقه 10 15 دقیقه و این صادقانه بود ویدیو من جایش کات نمیخوره جایش تو حرف تو دهن کسی نمیذارم شما منو میشناسید میدونید که من صادقانه با مردم صحبت میکنم ولی اینی که شما بخواید رسانه ها رو دنبال کنید مطمئنا من شوشوی مغزی بهتون میدن طبیعتا یه واقعیت تو یه جور دیگه واسهتون تعریف میکنم و به صورت کلی به رسانه ها نباید اعتماد کرد. اوکی این ویدیو رو بهتون بده کار بودم دوباره میریم سر ویدیوهای خودمون ویدیوهای فانا جالب و حال سواله خوبی که میپرسیم <تصفح> از مردم و یه نفر راستی یه نفر اومده واسم نوشته بود که تو هم واسه حالا ویدیو قبلی نوشته بود تو خیلی خوب تو هم خیلی زرنگی اومدی از طریق سوالای سکسی و فلان بسار راه درآمد واسه خودت درست کردی دوست عزیز من لازمه که بدونی من هیچ درآمدی از این ویدیو ندارم تو اگه که دقت کنی ویدیو منو باز کنی میبینی که تبلیغ روی ویدیو من نمیاد چرا تو محتوای من محتوای مثبت 18 هست و یوتیوب رو تبلیغ نمیذاره و تن درآمد یوتیوب تبلیغ طبیعتا من فقط چون حال میکنم چون مثلا خیلی کامنت واسم میذارین یا مثلا ازم میخواین یا مثل حالت رفاقتی شده من دارم ویدیو رو ضبط میکنم و هیچ درآمدی من ندارم از این زمینه واسه ثابت شدنش هم میتونیم چند تا ویدیوهای که حالا محتوای مثبت ایجاد کردن مثلا ویدیو آخر من یا حالا ویدیو قبلیشو باز کنیم میبینی که تبلیغ واسهتون نمیاد چرا شما بهتون گفتم <تصفح> امیدوارم ویدیو رو دوست داشته باشید واسه ما حتما حتما نظراتتون رو کامنت بنویسید این هفته دوباره میریم توی شهر یه ویدیو خفن درست میکنیم یه سوال سمی تو زن همه ببین این ویدیو رو اگه بسازیم خیلی آره زخمی میکنیم بازم میگم نظراتون رو بازم کامنت بنویسید خیلی بازم مهمه نظرهای شما به من ایده میده به من انگیزه میده و همه چی میده دیگه خلاصه دوستتون دارم تا ویدیو بعدی آدیوس